hey guys and welcome back to my channel period so if you're new here my name is lajane and if you ain't new hey boo what it do now before we get into this video make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and, you, and if you want you can hit that bell so you can turn your post notifications on so you can know when your girl drop another video <laughs> well, let's get right into this video because like baby we got a lot to talk about okay you can see from the title we're gonna be talking about starting your youtube journey um the sun is going crazy right now if you clicked on this video that means that you are trying to start a youtube channel um you've started and you need motivation um you know whatever the case may be so for me i started my channel back in i actually started thinking about youtube back in high school like if i had started back in high school wait wait do you know the things me and my friends did in high school like First of all, we traveled so much with the school. I think we went to Orlando, New Orleans, like all of that, like for school. Like we was never in school, but we was in school. If that makes, that, that's because we did like so many extracurricular activities and you know, whatnot or whatever. So that's just like, a little bit of background about me in high school. But I just think back to like high school when I wanted to do it, but was scared to do it. Like this is one point that you have to have to get out of your mind when you're starting don't be scared like get the fear out of your mind because if you don't how you gonna know if you're gonna succeed if you don't start right the fear of walking around in public with your camera because i think i just posted a video of this lady just looking me up and down like i was so wrong for recording in public like so yes fear gotta go um when starting your youtube channel so but fast forward to 2019, baby. Oh, and that's another thing. You guys, like my college days. I wish I did YouTube during my college days as well. Like I just would have been, I mean, <laughs> you know, you know, okay. Like I was just like a lit, I was just a lit tit. Like seriously, like I had so much fun. Um, And that would have been really like good videos for you guys. But again, the fear so like, that's number one, get the fear out of your mind and just start. This is just a little background on my journey and then I'll give you guys tips on how to continue on with your journey and you know, really actually feel like you can succeed with this YouTube stuff. Cause let me tell you, baby, I'm not even monetized yet, <laughs> okay? I feel like a lot of YouTubers, they don't, they're already, most YouTubers are already success, you know, successful. Um, the ones that we see anyway that comes across our um, feed, they're already successful and they don't talk about how they got to where they are or they make it seem easy. That's why I want to start mine now, like in the process, you know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not even monetized yet. I'm not getting paid for none of this. Like this is just off the passion that I have for YouTube, you know, the passion that I have for making videos, you know, my beauty videos, my beauty content, um, you know, fashion hauls, lifestyle hauls, yeah, I mean, lifestyle content, all of that stuff. So like, this is strictly off the passion, you guys. Like, I'm not getting paid for nothing. The editing, the editing, <laughs> the promoting, you know, keep pushing my stuff out, looking crazy, getting no likes on my, uh, or shares or anything on my stuff. I'm just like posting videos, posting them, posting them. So being consistent is definitely um, something that you have to really be disciplined with. <laughs> and what? See, I hate when I talk y'all, my, my, my thoughts be all over the place. But so like I said, fast forward to 2019, I started a channel with my boyfriend. And that may not have been the best idea because our relationship is just always so crazy. Like, we just been on and off for six years. Like, <laughs> we just crazy. And like, starting a YouTube channel with him, it was, I mean, it actually, it started off nice. It started off good. But then, of course, we hit a bump in the road in our relationship. So then, like, uh, the video stopped. So... I wanted to do couples channels so bad because like I seen couples channels like that's all I like to use that's all I used to watch really like Dear and Ken um you know so that was like my main reason for starting that but 
I always knew I wanted to do YouTube anyway, no matter, you know, if it was with somebody or, you know, by myself. So I still had a passion for YouTube. And granted, he only did the YouTube because I wanted to do it. He was giving me what I wanted. But me, I still had the passion for YouTube. So I'm still thinking of ways of how I can go ahead and get one here, you know, by myself and go ahead and do the things that I want to do, you know. There's a lot going on in 2020, so I had to take a step back. Um, I had to get my mental right. Um, so fast forward to 2021, I had my baby and I tried to start YouTube up again. Um, and, you know, I was doing good. I was being, you know, some semi-consistent, but I still had a lot going on with my, like, my personal life. Like, my, I had a lot going on. So... I really couldn't focus on YouTube as much. So that's another point. Um, you have to get your focus right. You have to, cause you can't miss, if you, if you write down, oh, I'm going to post a video here. You know, I'm gonna post a video on Wednesday. You know, you can't miss those deadlines for yourself because how are you ever going to be disciplined to do it? you know but yeah so i didn't really get consistent until so like i said uh 2021 i tried to start it uh, a lot was going on again i th did a lot of moving in 2021 I, I didn't have the focus to do it so make sure you go in focused um focus on what you want to do you know have a clear vision of what you want to do have no distractions and you know i had too many distractions then um not saying that I don't go through things now. I still do, but now I'm, like I said, I fix my focus. I'm more focused and I'm tunnel vision with YouTube now. So kind of sometimes. <laughs> so fast forward to uh, now, cause I didn't, uh, I had a lot going on last year. I just feel like I always got a lot going on. <laughs> so fast forward to now, to now like uh, 2023 this year, this is the most consistent I have been. This is when I really sat down, wrote everything out, my reasons why I wanna do it. You know, before I was just getting thrown into it, like, oh, well, they did it. So I'm looking at other people's videos, like, oh, okay, they did this, so we could do this too. So like, I would just hop on trends and stuff like that. And you know, that was kind of working out. It's like with the hopping on trends, it's like a teeter-totter for me. Cause some people say, you know, oh, follow the trends. That'll get you in the algorithm. Not really. I then did my own thing before. And the only reason, and this is the only reason why I teeter-totter on the trends because I'm a beauty guru. So like, I'm a makeup artist. So if I see a makeup video that everybody else is doing, doing hopping on one of those trends will get you in the algorithm. I've done it, I've seen it I've, multiple times. It's where I, you know, my page isn't that big. Like on Instagram, my page wasn't that you know, big, but they still put me in the algorithm and I still got those views and I, you know, got like, you know, a lot of views or whatever. So, you know, that's why I teeter totter with it. Cause sometimes if you, I would say hop on a trend if you're passionate about it. I'm passionate about makeup. So I'm going to hop on the makeup trends or whatever. But if you don't do makeup, don't hop on that trend because you see that in the, al in, in the algorithm, you know? So that's why I teeter totter with the hopping on trends, you know. Be you, always be you when when you do it. So if you are gonna do a trend, make it your thing, you know. Um, and like I said, I didn't really get consistent until this year. Um, like I said, I was writing out, you know, my plans. I was putting on putting time stamps on. I was giving myself deadlines when I gotta post a video. Um, it didn't matter which video I was doing. It didn't matter what it was. I just knew I had to get get it out there somehow like that I'm doing YouTube now. Like I'm a YouTuber. I would share it on my Facebook, on all my social platforms, not giving a crap about who's gonna share it or who's gonna like it. I still do that to this day. Like I send it in your DMs. Hey, look, go look at my video. And you know, sometimes that works out, sometimes it flops, you know, it really depends on, you know, the headline of it. My videos are pretty boring right now, if you ask me. <laughs> I really don't be doing anything like that, but that's my lifestyle right now. It's just, I'm not in the mood. Like during this time of the year, I don't go nowhere. I don't do nothing. <laughs> it's cold outside, I don't know. <laughs> but, but it didn't matter to me. All I knew was being consistent is what's gonna get me there. So. I literally post 
I, I literally get my videos together. And that's another thing, quality is gonna come over time. Um, that's that's another thing I teeter totter with because people be like, oh, it got, it really, it's really based off the quality of, you know, focus on the quality of your work. I don't even have a camera, y'all. I work strictly off my phone. Um, so I gotta really be careful with how I edit and stuff. Like I try to make it the best video I can, you know, working with what I have. So like quality definitely will change over time. It'll get better for sure. Um, I learned, like I learned to use different uh, settings on the camera, which makes the camera quality better and stuff like that too. So like, that's another thing, really do your research on what kind of camera to get or like what setting to put your phone camera on if you're using a phone. Um, you know and stuff like that really do your research you know like i said i 2023 this year is when i sat down and i said i'm gonna be serious about this like youtube i'm i want youtube to be the main source of income in my life like i'm gonna treat this like my job so i literally wrote down i still do like i'll get in my journal i'll write down my goals for the month and what I want to do um you know what video what type of videos I want to do um all of this is really built with trial and error you never know what videos are gonna flop or what videos are gonna you know make it or whatever because before I started I actually did my research on YouTube you know I would go look at other people's videos like their sit down videos and you know really understand the understanding the algorithm on youtube instagram you know all my social platforms tiktok you know really understanding it um before i hop back into it so that's another thing when you're first starting off really decide on what you want to do and write down reasons why you want to do it you know that way when you do like you when you get up one day and you really don't even feel like filming go back to the those reasons why those reasons that you wrote down of why you want to do it and be like okay this is why you know and get back motivated and get up and make your video because you're not like y'all see me in my videos i'll be like oh i don't want to i really don't want to do this today but we gonna do it and me my thing my thing is even when i'm down i'm gonna say we always we gonna get it done that's like we gonna get it done okay because i'm really passionate about it at the end of the day and even if you're if you lack motivation because you're not gonna get up and want to do film every day you're not gonna get up and want to still I, I have that problem with my makeup business some days i don't want to do makeup anymore um but if you're passionate about it it'll work out for you if you're passionate and consistent even through the lack of motivation you're you will you will make it for real i'm telling y'all <laughs> Um, cause I'm literally going through it. So decide on what you want to do, you know, and write down, you know, write down those reasons why, um, do not worry about the algorithm. Oh my God. Your time is going to come. Don't worry about the algorithm. Cause y'all, I was literally posting videos like my Instagram. I, I kept saying, look, I'm doing these videos. I was posting videos on, on Instagram for like maybe two years before I finally had a video just blow up and had half a million. And you would not believe what kind of video it was. It wasn't me doing makeup. It wasn't me doing a fashion haul. It was literally me in the mirror with my hair half done with one of those, um, I probably put the video here somewhere so you can see it. And maybe it was because my ass was out. Maybe. <laughs> That's definitely the reason why. Uh, so I kind of shook my ass a little bit for uh, <laughs> for some for some views. But it was like, I but I didn't post it because my ass was out. I posted because it was a real authentic video of me. My bad, guys. So I had to move it here because the window in my room the sun is directly on it and that's where my phone is sitting so it kind of like over it started overheating but now that you guys have a background on how i started my youtube like it's not gonna be perfect like my my whole journey was really rocky and it still is like i still struggle with being consistent um i'm more consistent than what i've done in the past of course um because like i said i fixed my focus um, I'm really tunnel vision with it now, so it's like, no matter what I'm doing, I got I got a vlog. So, basically, these are some tips. 
to help you guys continue on with your journey or you know if you haven't started yet to, you know to start start now um because honestly some of these youtubers who just got um who just blew up they've been doing it for over you know almost a decade you know seven to eight years and it's people like us the new generation who's like new to youtube and who's like hopping on you know we are we see what they've done we see the mistakes we you know we learn from other people's mistakes too um and me just over the what 2019 20 21 22 23 over the four years of me actually doing this i've learned from my mistakes and that's and this year when i applied the knowledge that i took from actually starting you know from actually doing it within those four three years um you know it's actually made a difference in my channel like i see the difference in my channel like i'm about to be monetized i'm 300 watch hours away from being monetized i have the subscribers um you know i post i do i'm consistent i post the three videos within the three month period you know the 90 day period so like oh we are almost there okay um so before because i know my time is coming so before i blow up i want to let y'all know that this is where it starts you know and to keep on uh, my ankle and to keep going um so number one um really decide on what you want to do like i said write down all the reasons why um we just went over that uh don't worry like i said don't worry about the algorithm your time is coming um it's definitely coming because there were times where there were times where I felt like I should have been in the algorithm and I wasn't and I would literally be so frustrated and, you know, want to give up and not actually, you know, continue with posting videos like even on my Instagram because most of the videos, most of the beauty videos that I post are really like on my Instagram. But I grew my Instagram in one month um, from 2000 followers to 13.6K now. Like, and I did that in a month. I gained 10,000 followers in a month just over, just being, just by being consistent. Not even with the little booty video or whatever, but it was multiple videos that popped off and that went viral. And that's another thing. Don't worry about going viral. Don't try to go viral. Post it, post a video because you like the video. I post, I post my videos because I like putting together videos and I like editing and I'm like, oh, this will be cute, you know, and stuff like that. Like post it because you like it. Um, you know, always be you when you, when you're, when you're doing anything, just always be you. Um, cause there's an audience for everybody. <laughs> there's literally, that's another point that like, there is an audience for everyone. See, and that's another thing. People say, um, this is what I disagree with um, the older generation who's been on YouTube for a while. They say, find your niche. But what if I do beauty? And what if I do, well, I'm just gonna use me as an example. I'm a makeup artist. I'm a mom. Um, I like to get into clothes. Like I like fashion hauls. So like, how can you tell me to, oh, well, you're a makeup artist, so just stick to beauty, you know? No. And plus, getting, actually being you, that's why I said be you in everything that you do, because I do, when you're trying to find your niche, I don't, I don't, I don't like when they, I just don't like when they say find your niche. Your niche is going to find you when you're being you. Um... Even if you just post videos of you every day, just like doing, going about your life, like your everyday life, like people, people literally will watch that. <laughs> They're going to, that, like, that's me. Like I do lifestyle videos as well. Like I do life content, you know, hey, this is what we're doing today, you guys. It might not be much to y'all, but hey, look, this is, this is what we finna do today. So, you know, and, that, and a lot of people can relate to that because like a lot of people just be sitting at home on their couch too watching tv and stuff like that and you know watching youtube videos and you know doing doing the same thing that you be doing and people like things that they can relate to 
Um, so that's why I kind of broaden my channel to where it's beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. Because I like to travel too and stuff like that. Like, and I can't just limit myself. Don't ever limit yourself. That's another point. Like, don't, do not limit yourself. Be you, but don't limit yourself, okay? Um, you never really know who's watching your videos. So, that's why I say it's like a, it's a crowd for everybody out there. You don't know who's watching your videos. Um, my brother literally sits and watch vlogs like this of other, <laughs> of other girls and stuff just because he likes how, you know, he, he thinks they're pretty and he likes them, like, he likes seeing them, you know, on their stuff or whatever. So, and that's, and that's him, but he's not going to get up here and, you know, make a vlog about him doing his makeup or something like that. But he watches those videos. Like I said, you never know who watches, who watch these videos. Like, um, another good point is to look at YouTube as your job. When you're starting off, you have to look at it as if it's your job. So you have to write down those days where you're going to post, where you're going to film, so I nor so this is this is how I do my videos. Um, I'll whew, I'll get an idea in my head and I'll go write it down, and I'll write down what I want to do in the video, and then I'll also put a date on it. I'll put a timestamp on it. I'm doing this tomorrow, or I'm doing this on Wednesday. Um, you know, and I get up on Wednesday. I film it, I'm, I make sure, and, and depending on how long the video is, I'm back to, in my journal. I'm editing this video today, or I'm editing this, edit, gotta edit by um, Thursday. So I'm giving myself a day to edit the video um, and post it. And I'm posting it on Friday. Basically, write down what you're gonna do, write down when you're gonna film it, write down when you're gonna edit it, um, write down when you're going to post it. Um, and then hold yourself accountable. So hold yourself accountable to these um, deadlines because if not, you're not gonna get it done. Um, if you, that's that was a big thing with this year that I had to learn, like I had to stay consistent. I'm like, look, I got, I'm like, I ain't got nobody here to tell me what to do. I'm my own boss, basically. So I have to be disciplined with it. You have to discipline yourself with YouTube, okay? Because it's nobody in your ear telling you that you have to do this. YouTube isn't going to say, hey, you have a video to edit. Go ahead, post a video. No. You have to literally instill in your mind that this is what I'm going to do. The, oh, this is another good point. Do not give up too soon, you guys. Um, Cause it was, like I said, it took me, it was like a jump start. It was like a, a car trying to start up like mm, 2019, 2021, 2022, 2023 is when I really got that, that my car sound weak as fuck right now. But you get what I'm saying? Like 2023 is when I really went all gas, no brakes. Like this year is when I went all gas, no brakes. And I've seen a difference. Um, so don't give up too soon. Don't pay the numbers any mind. Cause that's another thing that kind of like, I was kind of stuck on. I'm like, oh, nobody's watching my videos. But girl, don't nobody know you yet. Like <laughs> they don't know you yet. They don't know your character. They don't know um you know you can't you can't expect people to want to click on your videos if you don't have any content up there for them to click on you know you can't expect to be in the algorithm if you don't have if you're not posting consistently to do it so don't give up too soon because you got one view on your <laughs> on your video like so what who cares do you know how many people I, from do you, do you know how many views I, I started off with maybe like 50 views on one of my videos on one of my videos then I had 
I kept being consistent. And this is over the over time. Like, I don't even like those videos that I posted back then. Like, they are so cringy. They are so cringy. <laughs> um, but those videos are actually getting views today because of me being consistent. You know, one of the one of the videos that I did do that popped off um, the moving vlog that got like 17k views right now that ended up bringing more attention to my um to my channel and literally they'll go back and look at those older videos those older videos are gonna still you know be a part of it be a part of your journey those older videos don't give up y'all those old videos is a part of your journey okay like and they will get noticed uh, even when you don't want them to get noticed, <laughs> like I do not want y'all to go back and look at my old videos because you. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, another good tip when starting YouTube is posting shorts, and this is what I've learned this year. Um, and I'm starting to post more. I'm trying to post more. Any reel that I make on Instagram, I'll try to go ahead and post it as a short on um, YouTube. But sometimes I forget. <laughs> but posting shorts definitely will get you an algorithm. Um, well, sometimes it'll get you an algorithm. But it'll it, posting shorts gets you noticed more, and then they'll wanna they'll look at you on your short, and they'll be like, oh, you know, I'm gonna click her, I'm gonna see her channel. And it's easy for people to find you posting shorts versus you posting. Um, a YouTube video when you barely have subscribers and nobody knows how to look you up for real. So posting shorts gets gets it cycled around, you know, because people are gonna see it. Um, so yeah, that's one good tip too. But yeah, you guys. So those are just a few tips on how to actually, you know, stay consistent with YouTube and to actually start your YouTube. Um, these are the tips that helped me over time. You know, these are the tips that I've written down before I started my journey, well, this year, before I started, because before I was just posting videos, I wasn't really writing anything out and, you know, going, I was just going with the flow in those years and it wasn't working for me at all. Like, it wasn't helping me be consistent or anything. Now that I write everything out, really, really write your visions out and um, pray on it. You know, I'm going to throw God in everything that I do. Put God first in everything that you do. Oh, look at that. Why I remain strong today. My little Bible. My That's crazy. My little Bible um, app gave um, just gave me a message. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, like uh, like I said, put God first in everything that you do. Um, you know, write, he'll help you with your visions. Write your visions out and actually stick to them. But, yeah, you guys, I hope this. I hope these tips helped you guys because they've helped me um, over time, you know, just trial and error, doing the trial. I'm I'm doing the trial and error for you guys so that y'all y'all can get an idea and, you know, you can approach the situation better than what I have did over, you know, the certain amount of years. Because some people, they, they didn't start, they start their YouTube and they're good. They're set. They're getting paid and they can quit their nine to five the next year because they're doing so well because they they went in with a better focus they went in with a better you know with a clear vision of how they're going to get there see before i didn't know i didn't know how far youtube could really take me until this year until i really started doing my research until i really sat down and said okay this is what i want to do you know this is how this, youtube will pay my bills one day one day soon too at that like youtube will literally i'm i'm manifest literally everything in my life like i pray on it i write my visions down and i pray on it and i know that it's gonna happen because i have crazy faith that's just it like anything that you do you have to have crazy faith behind it um you gotta trust god you gotta trust that he knows you know where he's taking you you know so that is basically it for this video though you guys if you want a part two on how to actually grow your channel i'm going to try to be more thorough because when i talk i just like my mind goes all over the place i'm the type of person who tells a story and got to tell like five different stories within that story just to get to the end of, <laughs> end of the story <laughs> you feel me um but yeah so if you guys want 
a part two or if you have any questions on like how I'm growing my channel right now, like just ask. I'm more than welcome to help you guys out. Um, I really hope this video helped you guys out a lot. Um, I hope that helps you. I hope it helps you get further um, in your success with YouTube. So before you go, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, that's another thing. That's another thing, y'all. Do not. I I be saying okay, comment. Okay, comment. Like on one of the Thanksgiving vlogs that I did, I was like, comment. You know what you're thankful for and stuff like that. Do not worry about the engagement of others yet, because that's gonna come too. Um, like a lot of people don't engage with my stuff. Um, you know, I'll have a few people you know comment here and there, but a lot of people don't really engage yet. Um, and even on the big YouTube people, like on, on bigger YouTube channels that I see, a lot of people don't engage with them either. So it's just like, it's just a, it's just a matter of time, like knowing your time is going to come. Um, but yeah, you guys, that is it for this video because it's getting kind of lengthy. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, you guys. We are almost to, we are almost to the finish line to being monetized. And don't stop there. It doesn't stop when we're monetized. Um, we gotta keep going. Cause that's when the <laughs> that's when the money comes. You feel me? Um, so yeah. And I think I'm gonna have like a special surprise um when I do get monetized. Um, well when we're finally monetized, I probably have like a giveaway or something. So make sure you guys are staying tuned for that and watching the journey. Um, because we're only 300 hours away. Like 300 hours away from being monetized, you guys. This is gonna be so big. And and I did it in a year. Like, I'm almost monetized within a year. I mean, granted, yeah, within a year. Cause I've never, I haven't, I literally, I've literally been posting consistently now. So not even a full year and we're almost monetized. Like, this is what I'm saying, you guys. Take these tips, actually use these tips, you know, I'm telling you, it works. But that is it, you guys. I'm about to go eat. And yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.